Joining us now is Congressman Keith Rothfuss. He serves on the House Judiciary Committee and the House Committee on Financial Services. He was at the uh, testimony of Rod Rosenstein and Christopher Wray, the FBI director, today as well. Congressman, great to have you with us. Uh, first, just to, with you, Lou. if I may, your, your reaction to uh, the performance, if you will, of these two officials who seem to me, at least as, uh, as I watch, to be giving the back of the hand to, to your committee, uh, to the concept of congressional oversight of the FBI and the Department of Justice, period. Yeah, you look at the context in which this happened. We just had a massive report put up by the inspector general who found many problems at the FBI, and we've been waiting months for documents. So a number of us were asking questions about when we're going to get these documents. We passed a resolution in the House today to insisting that these documents be turned over. And it's interesting because would the Department of Justice, for example, if they issued a subpoena, would they be content with the subject of the subpoena coming back and saying, well, we'll give you what you need? or it will give you what's legitimate. And that's basically what I heard today right. uh, from, from the witnesses. And I asked the Deputy Attorney General, you know, who's the arbiter of what's our legitimate oversight? And, and are, are they going to decide what we need to see? No, we have asked for these documents. We have a constitutional uh, oversight responsibility and authority to do this. And they need to provide these documents. Because again, you look at the context of this whole investigation, you look at what Peter Strzok was doing, uh, you look at the IG report and how there were political influences in there, whether or not they're partisan, they were certainly political, the way Comey was in uh, conducting that investigation and the timeline uh, that the mid-year exam was on. Yeah. You know, in, in support of all that you're saying, uh, one of the things that struck me uh, as I went through those, those emails, and, and not all of them, certainly, I mean, you're talking about 50, 60,000 emails in total, uh, particularly between Page and, and Strzok. And there's not one, there's not one in which somebody is talking about either uh, love or lust or uh, uh, there's no foundation at all for this business about they were lovers. Uh, this is all politicized uh, garbage uh, being uh, spread around the, uh, you know, the the, uh, the internet uh, by these two, uh, and through the uh, <laughs> through the channels of the FBI and the Department of Justice, and nobody knew what was going on. Are you kidding me? It's That's just kind of hard to believe because well, you certainly know that Andy McCabe should have known what was going on because he was in the room when they had discussion of an insurance policy, uh, an insurance policy uh, back in August 2016, and this is right after. Peter Strzok said he had unfinished business because of the mid-year exam. This is just as they're beginning, beginning the Russian investigation. So yeah. clearly uh, uh, they were tainted, uh, Peter Strzok was anyways, uh, with what he was doing in that investigation. Yeah, and you talk about the insurance policy. There's a reference again by Strzok to, quote, we'll stop him. Uh, I mean, Which we just we found out about in the Inspector General report. Right. That was one of the texts that somehow was just never handed over. And we, and we know there are over 600,000 uh, emails that have been uh, collected as well, and no one seems to be curious about it over at the Department of Justice uh, with, the, uh, with the Anthony Weiner uh, uh, laptop. Well, you know, no one is answering these questions. And, and with all of this business about the collusion of the Russians, where the heck is the DNC server that was hacked by the Russians? And why don't we have first-hand, first-party knowledge and examination of that server rather than a third-party, democratically-oriented uh, 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 CrowdStrike uh, as the source for F... They've outsourced their investigation on something this critical, it's mindless. Well, you look at the whole context of the special counsel working on, on the investigation now with Russia. You know, I asked, why wasn't there a special counsel for, this, for the Clinton email scandal? Right. Uh, you can go back 20 years when Louis Free looked at the, the, the campaign financing scandal in the 1990s, and Louis Free said if there was ever a case that merited a special counsel, that was it. But Janet Reno kept it in the Justice Department. So here you take a look at what was going on with the Clinton emails. <laughs> Attorney General Lynch should have appointed a special counsel a couple of years ago to take a look at this, but she did not. Well, it, it, she saw it as only a matter, not a matter for an investigation. According well, and then she has a meeting with President Clinton on a tarmac. Uh, so 
again, the, the, she should have recused herself yeah. in, in this whole exercise. There are, you know, in one way or the other, everybody at the top of the FBI has been uh, demoted, replaced, uh, fired. Uh, we've never seen that, the like of this, as Congressman Jim Jordan points out, Congressman. And everybody is, uh, in the national left-wing media is acting like it's just another day in the park. Uh, what's, you know, scratching their heads about what's all the curiosity about? Uh, it is, it's truly mind-boggling. Uh, do you think we're actually going to see uh, congressional oversight of the Department of Justice and the FBI? Because, frankly, well, we, your leadership hasn't shown a propensity for uh, great courage or principle on this matter. Well, the leadership brought today uh, uh, to the floor the resolution that we passed, and they will have uh, seven days, the Department of Justice, to turn over the documents we've been asking for. Then we got to start looking at contempt proceedings. Uh, it is incumbent upon the Department of Justice, the FBI, to hand over the documents. And as Andy McCarthy was saying earlier, you, know, the, you wonder what, what's it going to take to get an order to have these released. Do we have to go do a contempt? Do we sure have to then do. go to you the do. U.S. They attorney? May... And, Think and, about and, it, Congressman. With... This has been going on, uh, take it the most recent request uh, from House Oversight and Judiciary. I, I mean, they've told, uh, well, told both committees to go to hell since uh, last fall. Uh, and compare how quickly they, they jumped to conclusions in, in the email investigation where they, two, two months before they yeah. interviewed Mrs. Clinton, they're already writing the exoneration memo. Yeah. Uh, excellent point. Congressman, good to have you with us. We appreciate your time. Thank you.